the patch notes, Diablo 4 patch notes, all platforms, builds, PCs, console, okay, new unique items and legendary aspects. Uh, unique items, legendary aspects have been discovered in Sanctuary, use them to enhance your characters, these uniques, blah 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 blah, alright, six unique items, general. Uh, Uber unique staff, so this is another you, 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 Uber, Uber unique, interesting. Uh, tier 4, gain the random shrine effect 1 to 20 sec seconds after killing an elite, elite enemy. Can only occur every 30 seconds. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Gain a random shrine effect for every 10 to 20 seconds? Dude, that's that seems like it's RNG, but it seems like really fucking power powerful. But this is what bothers me every 30 seconds. But again, movement speed and most of the shrines are good. Barb. Uh, Azure Wrath, unique sword, a lucky hit. Your core skills have up to 20% chance to freeze enemies for 3 seconds and deal 0.75 to 1.5 second cold. It doesn't say, but I think it's a multiplier. Cold damage to them. Or it's a damage. Hmm, sus. Uh, Druid, flesh render. Uh, unique one hand mace, uh, roar and blood owl deals 0.5 to 1% damage to nearby. Okay, so this is like for the level ones. The scaling is for level ones. Okay, makes sense. Uh, interesting how roar is going to make damage to near roar and blood howl deal to nearby poisoned enemies. Now I don't know if the howl is only for the poison enemies or both of them. It seems like it's both, but I don't know how you can make a... How would you use roar and poison at the same time besides playing poison creeper? So we can kinda... Hmm, interesting. We're gonna see. But I don't like this one. I, I don't like this one. I think it's, it's gonna be completely useless. Nobody's gonna use this except there's gonna be a really powerful poison build. Which I would love to play. Okay, Necros. <clears throat> Leadless Wall, unique shield. Lucky like hit. While you have a uh, active bone, bone storm, hitting uh, an enemy outside of bone storm has up to 5 to 25. Uh, chance to spawn an additional bone storm at their location. Each of your active sacrifice, uh, sacrifice bonuses increase the chance by 25% and the total number of additional bone storms you can have by plus 1. <clears throat> now, if you consider this, just in like text, it also like, just by watching it, it seems a lot more powerful than the Roar and B Blood Owl doing uh, one damage to nearby poisoned enemies. This is like really important poison. Uh, okay, uh, Necros are getting a really good uh, unique, I would say, even though I don't know shit about Necros. Eagle Horn. Rogue. Penetrating shot has 30 to 80% chance to fire an arrow that bounces off walls and scenery. Hitting enemies from behind with penetrating shot will make them vulnerable for 3 seconds. This is really interesting because you will have to play. You will have to play Rogue as a Rogue. Because Rogue is doing the most damage while hitting the targets behind. Backstabs and all the shit in World of Warcraft. This is the Rogue. This is the real Rogue. I like this one. Sork. Oculus. Get an effect of teleport enchantment for free. When you invade using teleport enchantment, you are taken to a random location. This is really fucking bad. <clears throat> You're taken to a random location. You can actually spawn, but if it if it really is RNG, this is really bad. Barb, cool, druid, sucks, necro, fucking amazing, rogue amazing, sork, sucks. Uh, four new legendary aspects. Aspects. <laughs> Audacity. When there's uh, there are at least five close enemies, stun them for two to, two to four seconds. This can only occur once every twenty seconds. You get twenty to forty percent increased movement speed when moving away from slowed or chilled enemies, and twenty to forty percent increased movement speed when when moving away from slow, slowed or chilled enemies. Okay, this is gonna be extremely powerful for some of the classes. For example, Pulverized Druid. I can get 40% increased movement speed all the time. 
I think this is going to get nerfed. First week. <clears throat> Let's go. Barb. Uh, charge calls. Fourth Ancients who also charge, dealing 50 to 100% offensive. Got no idea about uh, barbs, so could be good. I don't know. Uh, sub sub. Let's let's say it. it's sub. Subterra, subterra. Poison creeper. Creepers active. Also cast a landslide in a circle around you. Earth skills deal 10 to 20 percent. Alright, so now I have the idea how I'm going to level. I'm gonna take Poison Creeper as one of the spells. I'm not gonna use Hurricane for a very long time, I think. So this is gonna be definitely my go-to because I see Poison is heavily being pushed in the new patch. So I do like this. Earth skills deal 10, 10 to 20% increased damage to poisoned enemies. So might actually also cast a landslide in a circle around you. Damn, that's that's sick. This this shit is sick. I'm just I'm thinking about with what can I replace it? I can test this out today. <clears throat> Necro. Gore quills. Blood lens will consume blood orbs to also conjure lenses from them. Each additional blood lens deals 20 to 50. Each additional blood lens deals 20 to 50 of normal damage and prioritizes target targeting unlensed enemies. Each additional. Okay, seems seems powerful. Seems powerful. I, I don't know about bloodlands and consuming blood orbs. So I got no idea. Rogue, but it seems good. It seems good. Each bl additional bloodlands deals 20 to 50 normal damage and prioritizes targeting unlensed enemies. Uh huh. Rogue, uh, pestilent points. Every third cast of puncture is poison imbued, imbued with 100 to 150 of normal potency. I don't fucking know what this means, bro. Puncture, puncture it seems familiar, but I don't know. <clears throat> Searing wards. After spending, after spending 200 to 100 mana. Your next fireball is free to cast and will destroy incoming small missiles. I feel like they're fucking with Sork, Sor Sorks, honestly. This seems... It's, it's like 200 to 100... 200... 200 mana a lot. Because to me... I have like 159 spirit. So this is like my full case Storks Storks still shit it looks like it. Fireball is a free to cast and will destroy incoming small missiles Monster region epics in other would also affect structures in the dungeons fixing Shepard Goldman and Shemley Collins enemies would continuously respawn in the Forsaken Quarry dungeon Oh really? Hmm Sentinel enemies would not have weapons in the Bastion of Fate dungeon. Who gives a fuck? Fix an issue with the Bastion of Fate dungeon could sometimes not be completed. Um, 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 I'm waiting for the bug fix on the canals. Ghoul canals. Looks like they, they buffed rogues. It does look like that. But they also, it looks like they, they're fucking sorks <coughs> even more. Uh, where the player could respawn behind the barrier. Sheesh. I didn't even knew this was a thing. This was a thing. Uh, where the map for the Crusaders Cathedral dungeon was incompleted. Right. 
curse of him, blah 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 was dead in the fallen temple capstone dungeon never saw it but i guess it was there barbarian okay i uh let's let's number of enemies to play the quest master bet was not displayed displayed where iron melson could be cast more than three times rapidly casting war cry holy shit based on issue we're staking the berserker ripping skull breaker and anemia aspects would allow the players to deal extreme amounts amounts of damage okay finally but again it feels like they're fucking uh, barbs I don't know, rip barbs, I'm not gonna read that. Druid. Earth skills and pulverized skill would consume two overpower buffs simultaneously. Earth skills and pulverized skill would consume two overpower buff. Fuckers, fuckers. This means I'm, I'm, I'm getting buffed, bro. I'm getting buffed. I'm gonna have two overpower buffs I, I i didn't even knew this was a thing but hmm. i don't think i would actually notice fix an issue where the bonus effects on blood all from night all the respect would apply twice to wolf companions but not all for ravens who gives a fuck who is even playing a con companion build Fix an issue where provocation passive stacks wouldn't update properly after adding more points to it Okay, buff. Fix an issue where the automatic transformation from Fury would cause the Ursine Strength to keep passive to not prop. Bro, I'm just getting buffed, honestly. Fix an issue where enhanced polarized buff would not remove itself while in, in town. I mean, it's just one, so it doesn't really matter. We seen where seeking tornadoes produced by storm chasers, chasers aspect would not deal damage. This is a, this is huge. If it, if it, if this was actually happening, this might have actually happened to me. And this is why I hate Nade of Wolf. Fix an issue with Ravens, I don't even care. The rabies would deal, deal no damage while standing very close to an enemy. Hmm. So they're taking, uh, and they're looking at the the rabies and the poison. Interesting. Makes an issue where Stormcrawl aspect allows Shred to do extreme amounts of damage. <laughs> uh, literally every single guy today is gonna cry about the Shred. <laughs> but there it is. Uh, I'm not gonna read this because, like I said, I don't really understand it. I don't even know abilities name name of the abilities of the any other class than druid like i said i don't really get it but if they fixed it it's probably good besides the barb barb got pretty fucked more than three times i don't know barb seems to just getting fucking wrecked all the time while at the other side, the druids are always getting buffed. <laughs> this is why I chose druid, bro. Nobody's gonna touch my my beast. Fixing for shadow step. Okay, blah blah blah. So I don't really care. Uh, general, I need to teleport during boss encounters. Just in the west. Okay, da, 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 da. Eriman, Eriman NPC. Uh, yeah. None. Could avoid damage above if they position themselves in specific locations. Really interesting. Really, really interesting fix. Fix ancient where forced relics could not be interacted with. Monsters with cold, bleeding, burning, corruption would freeze players in one hit in nine medallions with the cold enchanted fix. Would freeze players in one hit in Nightmare Dungeons with the cold enchanted affix. What do you mean? So all this bleeding, burning, corruption was actually freezing in one hit. Cold enchanted most pro plays more often than intended in higher world tiers. 
I mean, this is just like... You just made the game easier because it should have been more often because your resistance is not high enough. But if you decided that way, I'm also fine with it. If you want to make the game easier... Actually, I'm not fine with it. Don't make it too easy. Fix an issue where a chest could spawn that would provide infinite loot. Ha! Yo ho! Ha! <laughs> Hell Tide and Fields of Hatred! Fix an issue where the player could be damaged but Hell Tide Firestorm was standing in. Hi! Yirandai! Yirand... Yirandai! Mm-hmm. Fix an issue where enemies are resurrected but shamans would continuously drop Cinders in hell tides. This ensure chain lightning could bounce infinitely between the caster and adult player character standing in the fields of hatred down. This ensure cracking energy. Hmm. Okay, nothing else important. Items and aspects. Let's see. This ensure the cost reduction bonus for the ring of starless skies could unexpectedly drop off ring of starless skies what kind of a ring is this ring of starless skies starless skies fixation where the aspect of protector would trigger its barrier effect after destroying a breakable object fixation where the rig of misfortune had incorrect stats Ember Staff weapon didn't apply the bonus damage to crowd control enemies, which is inherent for all save type weapons. Didn't apply the bonus damage to crowd control. Hmm, holy shit. <clears throat> that's actually <clears throat> that's massive. When character menu interaction would reset the bonus granted by the inner comex aspect, inner con. Hmm. Where the maximum life effects of the mark of the conclave quest, who gives a shit? Uh, blacksmith would also increase. <coughs> aspect power would also increase when upgrading an item at the blacksmith. So they finally fixed it. You cannot, you cannot upgrade aspects anymore. You could have. <coughs> I said that. Like a few weeks ago, cannot do it anymore. This is actually really good. This is really good. Because, for example, if you find a good item... Uh, yeah, for your ult. And you can... It's like level 100. And he's like level 80. You can now equip it. Really nice. Really nice. Quality of life change. Fix an issue where the Mother Embrace Unique Rig did, did not trigger properly with several abilities. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I, I think it was working well with Polarize while I was using it, so. Hey, monsters. Uh, issue where items of high power that Nintendo were dropping from rare monsters. Shit. Really, higher power than intended items of high bro the highest power item level power le item power level was at 817 and this is the highest I have seen. It's an issue where the Vorgs jumping attack deal no damage and passing through the player, okay. Mm, the champion goat would fail to deal damage to player. I don't know about this. I always see them making damage. Start the world in case we forget the thing preparation. Rare cause of Mars and with the suppressor. Could also have the Okay, okay, this is really good. <clears throat> Clones of Monster with suppressor effects could also have this suppressor effects. This is what I said. Why these fucking mobs are so fucking tanky with the suppressor effects? <clears throat> this is exactly the same the thing. <coughs> this, uh, that I was talking about. These mobs were way too tanky. There was something wrong with it. You are wrong again. <laughs> okay, now we're 
but yeah, this this shit suppressor FX finally because I know that there's no fucking way this FX is reducing my damage three times, four times, six times. I don't know. It, it's super fucking hard to kill these mobs. So finally, okay, thank you. Uh, fix an issue where treasure goblins would behave erratically if intentionally engaged from alone. <laughs> what does this even mean? Like they start like gooping around. I wish the most behavior could not perform properly and could be exposed in some cases. Okay, quests and events. Nah, not gonna read this. Mm -mm. User interface and user experience. Uh, where the minimap didn't. Okay. The blind eye quest, I don't know what it is. The enclopy for Loch. Loch Ray region in Skosglen. 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 It's an issue where a portion of the map was invisible in the Ex Exalter Terrace dungeon. It's an issue where the Mad Bomber. Issues with map pin functionality. I mean, I'm. Yeah, I'd, I'd like. I don't know. I, I think I never had any of these bugs, so I'm just gonna skip. And the last but not. Actually, not the last. Holy shit. Gameplay updates. Alright. Blah 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 blah, I don't care about this. Uh, general. <clears throat> Alters of Lilith and Lux are now account wide. Let's go! Uh, you can start leveling the alts. Map Discover is now account wide. Let's go, you can start leveling the alts. Whispers will no longer reward Sigil Dust. I didn't even knew they did, so. Overall, loot quality has been significantly improved for silent chests, so uh, we might need to spend some obols on the keys. Uh, the channel channel time for the, for living dungeon ability has in Why would anyone fucking do this? Why would they increase the channel time for leaving the dungeon from 3 seconds to 5? Why is this a thing? Why would you do that? Everyone, literally everyone is complaining. Literally everyone is complaining about spamming the same dungeons like they cannot you need to reset you need to go back to the game you need to do this you need to do that blah 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 all the shit and you do it again you increase the time instead of like we dip and you did it we dip I guess we're gonna have a lot of server crashes during the during the during the season one because nobody is ever going to use the leave dungeon button. So why why why? Hmm. Okay. Move around in combat so that melee characters don't have to chase down their enemies as much. It's why dual, dual sense edge barrels control support for PC. Interesting. Interesting. Really, actually nice. Because I was actually considering buying a PS a PS5 co controller and and. And uh, using it on PC because it seems like more chill. You just you can just like. Uh, 
Uh, tier 2 has uh, the following bonuses. Bonus gold increased from... Bonus gold is completely uh, useless at these levels, so 5% increase is nothing. But monsters now drop 15 more percent more items. This is crucial. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Level scaling inside dungeons and more overworld ter territories have been adjusted in world tiers 3 and 4. What do you mean? Level scaling. Okay, monster will be begin to trail behind the player in the level after a certain point. Up to a maximum of 5, five levels behind. This change does not affect world bosses, legion, blah blah blah. Or nightmare dungeons. I don't think I understand this one. Adjust to tier 3 and 4. Monsters will begin to trail behind the player in level after a certain point up to five levels behind wasn't it wasn't it five already i think this was this this was already in the game if the player's level is below ah let's see example uh, below 55 the monster level is 55 okay so they want to slow down they want to slow down the the entering tiers Experience. Reward experience for completing Profa Whispers. It's been significantly... Okay, when they say significantly, they really mean it. Because... Yeah, we, I will check this. But when they said this for Nightmare Dungeons, the XP is fucking insane. So I do believe them. Whispers might be a cool thing. Also doing the Renown and doing like some, some of these dungeons might be a cool thing during the leveling so why not that the experience bonus reward rewarded for killing high level monster escalates to fast when compared to the relative challenge involved we still want to reward players for taking on this challenge by encouraging them to participate in power leveling together instead of one player killing enemies <laughs> wow <laughs> another member of their party waits at the dungeon and entrance uh, one one level higher it was not 15% it was 10 two levels it was 20 but three levels it was 30 I think if I'm not correct post season of the malignant one 1.5% bonus per level up to 10 levels we're also adjusting the spirit rewards for monster level offsets offsets for higher world tiers so there is literally no point uh, in running anything above 10 levels above you so we'll 11 levels above you there's literally no point of running running it uh, we also adjusting spirit rewards for monsters da, 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 current world tier level offsets up to plus three. Oh, there we go wait i'm not sure if i Yeah, current 3, 10, 100, 3, 6, 10. So it was 100, now it's 10. <clears throat> Let's deduct 1, 0. <laughs> For example, if you're level 1, your, friends, uh, your friend brings you to tier 4 and you leave... You leave and leave you at the entrance of the dungeon. They start killing level 100 monsters prior to... They start... Prior to season of the melee, you get... Level 100 monster XP times 1 plus 20%. After season 11, Helltide mon monsters are now 3 levels higher than the player instead of 2. This is fucking great. <coughs> this is amazing. Uh, rip boosting. To some degree, I think, because I don't think the, the, the difference... I think they're just putting, putting it like this, so... I wouldn't say rip boosting, I would say... I would say the, the change between like running a Nightmare Dungeon 50 or 70 in terms of XP it was basically... You would get less on 70 because it's harder or even like... Let's say 40 and 50 it's pretty much the same for me to kill 40s and 50s. I one shot both of these, so 
you would get some more XP at 50, but it's pretty much the same shit. It was the same shit. Now it's just... They said it's here. I never felt any change. Actually, yeah. I don't think they really did anything. <laughs> Chest uh, has had its cost increased to 200. Bro, are you fucking mad? Are you fucking mad, dude? Are you fucking insane? Who thought this was a good change, you fucking idiots? Who thought this was a great change? Holy fucking shit, for two of the mystery chests you need 500 cinders. And you have three... <laughs> dude, for two opened chests right now, you could have opened three of them, almost three of them. Now have a small chance of dropping cinders. Wow, great, great buff, great buff to the... This is, this is, this is idiotic. <laughs> Okay, uh, Barb, I'm not gonna read this because, again, I don't really understand it, so I can just skip the druid. Let's go! <laughs> but they but fucked main set and crit on weapons. Alright, we're, we're, go, we're gonna go. We're gonna go there. Enhanced Claw, attack speed bonus increased them from 10 to 15, why not? Storm Strike damage reduction reduced. Hmm. Hmm. 25. 10% hmm. damage reduction taken away. Boulder, increased damage from 33 to 46, I don't think... Boulder sucks fucking ass, so I don't think anyone would will still play this shit because e even due to the, this 13% increase, I think it's still shit. Trample spirit gain increase from 20 to 40, bro. Just just buff me, buff me, bro. Just bless me with the buffs, bro. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this shit. Prime uh, lacerate healing increase from to. They're fucking crazy. They're fucking crazy, dude. They're fucking crazy. From 3% to 5%. Lightning damage increased from 64% to 77% and NATO damage from <laughs> 19 to 23%. So they buffed the NATO. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Supreme... Cataclysm normal duration increase from 2 to 3 seconds. Prime Cataclysm duration. I don't really give a shit about this. Prime Grizzly Rage now grants unstoppable for 6 instead of while. Ugh, bro. Ugh. So, you're not unstoppable for, I don't know, 25 seconds anymore in the Grizzly Rage? You are unstoppable for only 6. Which makes you leave the Grizzly Rage more. Because you're... But again, the Grizzly Rage is so power, powerful. And the unstoppable. But it doesn't make sense. Why would you... It doesn't make sense. Because if I'm a fucking Grizzly, in my prime time, I should be un unstoppable. But I guess they need to nerf it. <clears throat> Damn, this feels bad. This feels bad. I fucking love being unstoppable. Location mm. direct shoulder required to guarantee up reduced. This is what I said. This is what I said. They're going to they're going to fucking buff. Overpower once again. They're they're gonna they're gonna come back with the overpower once again. 35, 30, 25, 24, 20, 16. So overpower, I think we're gonna play overpower. Not not sure yet, but let's see what it says. Uh Mazda hits now also requires a lock hit requires. What do you mean it requires? 
a lucky hit chance of 75%. Prickles, <laughs> Pickle Rick Thorns increase from 0.1 to 0.15 above. Iron Feather makes him life <laughs> 4% more. Not, not that I ask for it, but now that you offer it, I'm still not going to take it. Bolster Fortifying increase from 10 to 15. Still not going to take it. Overload damage increase from 0.2 to 0.25. Yeah, I just don't know. Uh, sorcerer buffed a lot. I hope Sorcerer is completely fucked. Uh, I, I think Sork is completely fucked. Uh, I think they're, they're just fucking with you guys. If anyone is playing Sork, I would advise not to. Because... I don't know all the the changes they did. What I what I have read so far, I think it's 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 a uh, it's a joke. Mm, Paragon Spirit Clip bonus now affects all damage instead of just scores. Wait a second, Spirit Clip's bonus. Spirit Clip's bonus now affects all damage instead of just core skill damage. I need to check this shit out. This might be mad. This might be mad. Aspects. Aspect of the calm breeze, like hit chance increases from 5 10 to 7 12. Calm breeze. Calm breeze. Uh, balanced aspect maximum spirit increase from 50 to 60 80. Why not? Tempest uh, damage bonus increase from 7. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Uh, healing, don't care, cooldown reduction in those symbiotic. 4 to 8, 3 to 5. Speed damage bonus increase to <laughs> that's 6% here and 6 there. Shepherd's damage bonus increase from 6, 8 to 6, 10. Nope, why not? Uh, Fury, Berber skill ranks increased from 2 to 3. Dude, just give us fucking everything, bro. Just buff the fuck out of Druids. Just buff the fuck out of Druids, dude. They're fucking mad. And this is why... Oh, I need to record a video. Like, I need to record a video. Literally. Since everyone is recording, like, my plans for season 1. And I'm literally going to say, like, bro, I'm going to play Druid. You know why? Because they're always going to fucking buff them. They're always going to buff them because a lot of people complained the way they looked. And a lot of people would say, actually, not, most of the people say that druids looks, they, they look ob obese. Like fat. They look fat. And I completely disagree. I think fuck, I think druids look, they, they look fucking amazing. And... This is how a real druid would actually look like. Primal, primal, fucking Chad, turning into fucking beasts. This is what druid looks like. And since they had so much hate on forums, I think they just had to buff everything. This was my, this was my idea. I, I cannot wait to test this, uh, so we're gonna jump to the game uh, pretty soon. I'm not gonna uh, read Necro, Rogue, Sork. I didn't really understand it, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna read it. Uh, I, I'm gonna open it if, if any of you guys just wanna take a look at it. So here it is. Um, there you go. You got Rogue. You can stop the video if you want. And. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, whoa, whoa, stronger random weapons. Wait, wait, wait. What, what is this? This is general. Damn, 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 damn. I, I, oh, sheesh. Okay, so this is rogue. This is uh, necro, right? Sork. Okay, let, let me just take a look at the sork. I'm really curious. Uh, increase from 10. Okay, now from all skills 20 to 25, 10 to 25, 8. 10 to 18, 25 to 35, 10 to 20, bro, 50 to 100, 3 to 9, 2 to 3, 1 to 3, 3, 6, 9, 5, 15, 5. 
Bonus critical strike damage redu reduced from 10, 20, 30 to 7, 14, 21. Interesting. So they're kind of buffing them, but also I, I don't know how, how important this is. And the nerf is massive, like 25, 50, 75, 10, 20, 30. But also this buff is, seems massive. 10, what, 1, 2, 3? Dude, 3, 6, 9. Align the elements damage reduction per second. It seems like it seems like <laughs> I, I I don't know, but it seems like uh, they they wanna make them more uh, actually less vulnerable, so they can survive more. Okay, uh, disobedience maximum stakes reduced from. 100 to 60 reducing maximum bonus armor from <laughs> Dude, I cannot even get more enough armor. Why why would you do that? Why would you do that? Huh? Why? Why? That's that's bro, sh shut the fuck up. That's 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 fucking huge. That's mm. The good thing is they reduce the stakes to 60. That's 40 less, almost 50, 40%. The, not almost, but it is 40%. The armor reduced by <clears throat> 10 at the start and 20 at the end is pretty massive, even though I think mm, not many times I actually do reach stack like 100 stakes. So at one way it's kind of same. I need to test it to say for sure, but in some in some weird way it might be the same. I I'm not completely sure, but we're gonna test it. Uh, <laughs> Most stand reduced from twenty. Uh. I was not using it, but okay. Uh, exploiter, aspect bonus to unstoppable. 20, 50, 20, 40, starlight aspect resources. Res Increase, wait, this, this one is the one that when you get hit, you restore resources. I think this is the, this is the one. So it's increased from 10 to, to 20 to 40. If I'm correct, if that's the one. If anyone knows, just type it in the chat so I, so I can be sure. I don't, I don't wanna search it. Butcher's Cleaver Slow increased from 40, 40 75 to 6. I don't understand this. Why would they do this? Because Butcher pretty much. I feel extremely, extremely unpowerful when I'm fighting Butcher and I I, I always thought like, why, why is this slow like so hard, like why, why, why is he slowing so much? I don't know, I, I don't think this... I don't know. Uh... Ancestral and sacred items in Nightmare Dungeons from 5 to 10 percent. It's gonna be easier to gear up, I guess. So I, I would I would buff this based on based on the Nightmare Dungeon, the Nightmare Dungeon tier, and not just Nightmare Dungeons, because. Again, there's no literal. There's no need in in leveling. Actually, in playing higher nightmare dungeons than just spamming 50s. Besides the glyph upgrade, but you do the 50s 10 times faster than you do 70s. So I don't see the point. Remove the 20% chance to drop an the extra equipment item from elite monsters outside of Nightmare Dungeons and Helltide. Outside of Nightmare Dungeons and Helltide. Okay, 
chance to drop an extra equipment from the elite monsters in Nightmare Dungeons and Helltide by 10. Why not? This is good. Uh, they they should maybe... Yeah, I I said like I, I don't... I don't ever do hell tides. I think I should be doing them. So definitely something that will make me do them more. Okay, not bad. Nightmare Dungeons now also now have a 50% chance to drop a second legendary item upon completion. I don't know about this one. Maybe it was not needed. I, I don't think it, th this was needed. Dude, so, so many people are going to run tier 1s and just get the legendary aspect because of this shit. I don't think this was needed. I would remove this. I, I wouldn't actually implement it into the game. Now give 3 rare items upon completion up from 1. That's better that's better because uh rare items if you're going for rare items you're probably gonna use them and you need to do a higher net no, like you're you, you're going to do a nightmare dungeon that's that's your level like you're not going to do tier ones you're going to do at least what's the minimum requirement for is it tier 25 Ancestral or 21 21, 70, 21, 20, yeah, I think it's 21 Monsters, increase the uh, monster HP scaling from 85 <laughs> to 100 bonus per extra party in the uh, player in the party So one thing, they really wanna slow the fuck down with the boosting which is really good for the business Dane, you are just getting a promotion my friend uh, this means uh, bo uh, boosting is going to be booming, bro. Dane, business is booming. Trust me, Dane. Uh, <clears throat> you're gonna have a lot of customers. You're gonna have a lot of pe people paying you a lot more than the usual. So, Dane, bro, business is booming. Dane, you're good. Uh, I don't like it. Because already I was having... Nah, I was not having troubles. I don't care. I don't fucking care about this one. Uh, adjust the scaling of the grid trying to improve. Even though I do care about this one. I do care about this one. Because of the leveling. Because not a lot of casuals will not enjoy the game now. Not, not They're not going to enjoy the game now. But casuals really have hard time... Clearing dungeons while playing in the groups. Now, you added 4 times 15, 60% extra HP. I'm um, sad that it's going to affect a lot of casual players. And this is what you don't want to do with the game. You want to make it casual friendly. So guys who just want to have fun after work play with their friends, they can just jump to the game and feel powerful, they can just like smash the game, play for an hour, two, three, four, ten, and go to bed. And do it, do the same thing tomorrow. I don't know, I have mixed up feelings about this one. Uh, I love coffee. Uh, let's continue. What do you think? Guess? If you think it's extremely dumb, I do think so as well, because I think it's going to ruin a lot of casuals. And maybe the scaling with like one friend, that's fine. Three, you're already having issues. Four, bro, it's not like it's going to be, let's not invite this guy because he's going to slow us down. Because we get another 15% on top of this 15% and this one and that one. I think this is, <laughs> dude, not, not good, not good, 5%, yes, 10%, debatable, 7.5, yes, 15, no fucking way, dude, no fucking way, that's 60% on four, four men, mm, not good, 
just the scale of great champion effect throughout the game. Don't care. Bro bosses now drop potions more often. <laughs> Bro, I <laughs> let's not buff that. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually great. World bosses now drop potions more often. Fucking amazing. Still not doing world bosses ever. Uh, there's no longer a limit to how many materials you can refine into higher materials at once. Really good change because you had the, the, the 20, 20, fucking 20 and you have like 10k materials. So this is really quality of life upgrade. Okay, you're just saying shit. Control impair. Let's let's get to the juicy part. Okay, control impair duration duration reduction can now appear on pants. I don't give a fuck about it, but I do give a fuck about my other stats on pants. So it's going to be harder to roll good stats on the pants just because of this shit. Because I don't care about control, impair duration, which some class actually yeah some classes should should consider. Because I think if you're CC, you I mean you cannot do shit. Okay, probably good. Let's say it's good for most of the classes, not me. Barrier generation can now appear for all classes. It will also begin dropping later in the game. Bad. 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 Really bad. If you wanna do it, if if you wanna implement it, do it start it from the start start it in the early game. Because people need to get people need to get idiotic. Really idiotic. Lucky hit chance while you have barrier can now appear for all classes. Reduced by 12% when on Helm and 20 when on Amulet or Offhand. What does this mean? Like, what, what if I'm using it on Amulet and Offhand? Does it mean it's going to reduce 20% on both or one of these? Because it says when on Amulet or Offhand. I mean, I don't really care, but I, I don't understand it. Uh, mastery skill damage newly added can uh, appear on Sork weapons, skills identically. Actually, starting in like two days, three days, three days from now, literally three days from now, someone is going to make the most broken build in the game, it's going to be Sork. Because they did so many changes, they, they I don't think they really calculated properly. And I think all this shit is just going to be, bro, like, you, you're just going to have, like, unkillable Sork that does insane amount of fucking damage. And then they're going, then you're gonna start playing the build and you're, you're just gonna fucking hate yourself when, when they just, just say, like, yeah, we decided to nerd the fuck of it, out of it. Uh, again, I would not recommend recommend playing Sork if only if you if you really 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 love the class. Play play it then, because otherwise I I I think they're gonna fuck fuck them up, fuck them up. They're already fucked. They're gonna fuck them up even more. Resistances to all elements can now appear on shields. Who gives a fuck, bro? Uh, strength 50% uh, stronger on weapons, 25% stronger when on weapons yo okay physical damage increased by 25 uh, I should go for the instead of willpower I should go for the physical damage on my weapon uh, are we still talking weapons here on weapons nah we're just talking I don't think I can even get physical damage on the two hand weapon maybe I can I don't know Increased, 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 non-physical. Okay. Okay, blood skill while in human form. Completely fucking useless. Rolling skill. Hmm. Actually, might not be since the poison. On the poison. Hmm. 
Might actually use this shit. Who knows? We'll see. Earth skill damage increased. <laughs> uh, summoning werebear skill damage increased. Werewolf. Total armor reduced by. <laughs> Bro, who let them cook? <laughs> The patch note is fucking huge. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. And I think I'm not like look at look at how many ch changes they have done. But they, this is this is holy shit. This is bad. Attack speed for after dodging an attack increased. Damage for after dodging an attack increased. Total only one. <laughs> nah, th this is not good. First of all, if if. Uh, for the werewolf it should be reduced by 33% for the werebear it should be reduced by 12.5 because werebear is a fucking bear and the wolf is a fucking wolf you do not compare these two you can they cannot have the same amount of armor they cannot have the same amount of damage they, they, they cannot be the fucking same bro just because they're shifting they shifters, they, they cannot be the same. Wolf and bear, it's it's completely different, bro. It's 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 not the same animal. It it should not be the same. They they're constantly doing the same shit. And it cannot be the same. The reduction from reduced distant 25% of the bleeding poisoned. Ooh, damage wall fortified. The fuck? And this is it. So basically, they're nerfing the defensives, increasing all offensive skills. This is what they said. Uh, this is what they what they meant when they said you're going to be you're going to feel extremely power powerful. This is what I think they they meant. Like you're going to fucking blaze through the game, but you're also going to die. So if anyone is actually. If, if you had a thought of playing the, the 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 character on hardcore don't do it man don't do it because all I can see is nerfs to, to defensive skills except maybe the Sork Sork looks fucking good and, and Druid you know Druid is like 4% health here 4% here 5% here uh, healing increased from 3% three, five, three to 5 <laughs> then, then on top of these 4 and 5 <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Overall, do I like it or not? I do, I do like the patch notes I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the barbs and sorks I, I do think it, that someone is gonna come up with the with insanely broken build for the sorks and you're gonna just like 